Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Today we're going to be checking out the brand new We Came As Romans track entitled Carry The Weight. They actually released two tracks today, but uh, I just want to check this one out because I know it has the music video and I thought it would be a little more fun to watch. Anyways, so We Came As Romans, you know, I'm sure a lot of you guys know who they are. Um, I've known of them for such a long time, you know, even when I was much, much younger, but I only really got into them when they released their last album, which was absolutely a heavy hitter. It had just really aggressive, nice, heavy parts with cool innovations here and there and really nice melodies, you know, catchy melodies. And it was just a solid overall album. And then of course, after sadly, um, their vocalist passed away, which really, really sucks. And, um, you know, it's, it's always like, what do you do when that happens? It's such a, you know, shitty situation for the band, you know, fans, all of that, that um, you don't know what's going to happen next. But um, it seems that, you know, the guys and We Came As Robins wanted to continue on, which is great. You know, I, I applaud them for that. That's not easy to do. Um, so, you know, big, big respect to these guys. And um, their other vocalist is now just kind of taking over all vocal duties apparently so um that's exciting to hear as well but yeah i'm expecting some good shit some heavy some catchy choruses or whatnot but um yeah i'm honestly just excited to to listen to the new track let's get into it it's a nice guitar melody Okay, let's go. Oh, they're tuning low, boy. Fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, I can feel that shit, man. I love the sing scream mix. Kind of like that yelling. Love the melodies too. Good pause. That's a nice chorus, and then that transition is fucking beautiful. Ooh, that's filthy. Love the drum work, too. I hear those ghost notes. Hell yeah. Nice pre chorus, man. Right? Yeah. Love the fucking emotion in this chorus. Shit, man. Yes. Is it happening? Oh. Oh, fuck. Let's go. Oh. So, so much happy. That's some good shit. Love the background ambience, too, with the dissonant. Tear that shit out, bro. Oh, cool, okay. That's wow, that's fucking that's interesting.
Wow. Okay. Three. This this song is three minutes fifty seconds. It did not feel like that. Holy shit. Um. So there we go. We came as Romans. Carry the weight. Wow. I. You know, like I I I didn't ex- like. I know they do heavy stuff, right? Their last album again. They had some heavy stuff. It really impressed me. I really enjoyed it. I didn't expect shit to be that heavy. That was nice. Oh shit. Okay. Let's get into it. Um, so guitar work, lovely. Love it. You know, like, yeah, it's metalcore, both cool innovations. Right? And the first thing I notice is, right, as soon as I hear that low, low tuning, you know, with the just like kind of I, I think this is maybe drop F, drop F sharp, um, with kind of the open notes and things like that it's so easy nowadays for bands just to kind of copy architects. You know, that's the first thing I always hear when I hear bands that were metal, that are metalcore and um, start, do the drop tuning thing. It's like they default to kind of having like architecty riffs for some reason. Not all of them, obviously, but quite a few of them. Uh, but these guys, like, those weren't really like architects riffs. Like those were We Came As Romans riffs with lower tuning, which was great. You know, I like that they still kept that um, that aspect of it where they still had a lot of that fun dissonant feel they had some you know phrygian stuff going on but still a lot of just really cool minor and um it, it was just great guitar work it was a little flashy here and there but um it didn't you know go too flashy to take away from you know the emotion that was going on with the vocals and uh, the rest of the instrumental so love the guitar work and i love the fucking ambient background beautiful it, it was all over the song and honestly, it gave the song so much more emotion, and I fucking love that stuff. Um, so fucking ace guitars, nothing bad to say at all. Uh, drum work, solid, solid. Love all the accents. I love the ghost notes, especially the snare ghost notes um, during a few of those verses. Really cool. And he just had the groove going, man. Like he really kept that groove um, solid, and it really played well with the whole instrumental, the guitars, everything. So um, amazing work on the drummer. And um, fuck yeah, I could keep at it. Bass, I heard some bass, solid stuff. You know, I, I usually don't talk much about bassists. They're they're just doing their job, holding the backbone. Good job. Vocals, hell yeah, my dude. <sighs> Screams, you know, I I've heard him scream. He's he's solid as fuck. You know, it didn't necessarily surprise me on the screaming end because I knew he can pull that off. He just slays with his screams. He's he's a beast with that. Um, what really surprised me where not only the cleans at the very start, like the clean cleans, uh, really enjoyed those, but also the like scream, yell cleans during the chorus. Loved it. I did. I don't know if he's ever done kind of like that, that kind of style, the yell cleans, um, but shit, he has a really good voice for it, and it really, really fits We Came As Romans. So I loved hearing that on the chorus because then it wasn't just then a basic, you know, kind of like, okay, screaming here and then the chorus is the only clean part. It really blended nicely because he had that that layer of, I, again, I don't know if he's doing it just in one layer, like he's actually doing a yell, um, a yell singing technique just in one, or if he's layering some cleans with some screaming in the background and kind of blending them together to make it seem like it's one. Uh, but either way, I loved it. It sounded so nice. And honestly, dude, my, my vocalist, dude, he gets MVP. Like, he fucking is just tearing this shit down. Um, you know, taking over full vocal duties. He is really, man, he is, he's fucking doing the fans, the band, and, um, you know, fucking the vocalists, other vocalists who, who passed away, sadly. He's, he's doing them all proud, man. Honestly, I got to give my dude on vocals fucking MVP. He's fucking killing it. And, um, yeah, I, I was really, really impressed with everything i was hearing um and the emotion like i could feel that man i almost i almost teared up a little because like you can you can hear that pain and um it was just it was so it was so beautiful man so fuck yeah i loved i loved the vocals um so mvp to him song overall let's let's go into it intro was nice it was really chill and then it just dropped it dropped you just just like a rock man didn't expect that shit didn't expect the extreme, you know, change in tuning in terms of it's it's a lot lower. <laughs> you know, I think usually they could go around like drop A sharp, stuff like that. And it still sounds really low, especially with how they mix stuff. You know, they have a lot of bass and those low frequencies when they mix their stuff. But this just sounded really low. I was like, oh, shit. Um, you really didn't expect that from them. So love that kind of drop in the beginning. And then it was just aggressive from there on. It just flowed so nicely. 
love the pre-chorus into again that amazing chorus i think that's one of my favorite choruses that i've heard all of this year um and then after it goes back i think to that first verse and then it does maybe pretty sure it does some kind of different little fun breakdown which was really fun with the dissonance and uh, cool unique grooves and all of that and it goes back pre-chorus chorus loved it and then they did the pre-breakdown oh hyped me up i knew what was coming they knew that they just wanted to destroy the world at that point and they did it man they pre-breakdown hyped you up so hard and then that breakdown hit and it was just that, like that's how you resolve shit that was beautiful you know this song was so perfect when it came to hyping things up and resolving them right it told such a good story structurally i loved everything about this song structurally and then we got to the end right and it was breakdown and then i guess you'd still consider the very end breakdown but it's more like post breakdown which is something i've never really heard where they're taking away the guitars from the breakdown keeping the groove keeping the bass and the ambient melody and i'm kind of just ending with that i thought that was really really sick to use as an outro uh, i was hoping just personally not because you know maybe it would have fit the song better or anything i think what they did with the song was great how they did the song but i was for some reason hoping at that point to do like a clean break after that last breakdown into the chorus one more time because i love that chorus so much emotion i was hoping to hear that chorus just just one more time right at the end there um i think that would have just been like oh just done sold right um, for me at least. So hearing that chorus one more time and then maybe doing a double length chorus for the end. So the second one could have been a heavy version of it or the second half could have been just heavier or more like bridge style like that. Um, or just even end with that first verse or even end with that, um, that intro clean riff, which I'm not sure if the intro clean riff is the same as the breakdown. I'd have to re-listen to it. If it is, then that's very good um, structural planning, I would say. Um, but then to hear that element repeated at the end, I think would have been a really nice closer as well. So either, you know, a chorus into a double chorus into maybe first verse again, right to end it, or having that intro riff end it after maybe a first verse heaviness, something like that. Um, I think just for me, that would have been a little bit more of like a satisfying ending maybe, but that's also more of a generic ending, right? I think these guys want to innovate a little bit and do something different. So that's why I'm not, you know, saying it would have even done a better job or anything. I think the route they took was really, really cool. It was different. And um, again, I was a little taken back because I was like, wow, it's four minutes already, like three minutes, 50 seconds. I didn't expect that. I didn't know how, how that time went by, <laughs> you know, which I guess really shows how damn this song is fucking fire. Like that you don't even notice those three minute, 50 seconds go by. And that's why I also was expecting it to go back to maybe the chorus after because I thought they had time for it. But at 3 minutes 50, like, they didn't really have time to do another chorus round and then end on something different. So, um, yeah, that, that was awesome. But So, yeah, amazing job structurally. Everything flowed well. Um, I just wanted to hear that chorus one more time because it's so fucking good. But um, amazing job. And video-wise, too, love the video. It fit perfectly. You know, it, had a, it was so emotional. And it just... It, it just matched that music on like some kind of different level in terms of like you just could feel the video. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you could feel the music, you can hear the music, but you could feel the video too. And again, it almost made me want to tear up, man, because it was fucking, it was so well done and it was just like a beautiful experience, I got to say. So fucking we came as Romans, man, they are, they, they are some tough motherfuckers and they are coming back. Not that they really left anywhere, you know, that they this is still like maybe one or two years just after their last album. Um, and these are these guys are tough as shit, you know. I they're I couldn't imagine what they're going through. And um I'm honestly, you know, just as a music lover, super fucking proud of these guys. And I have so much goddamn respect for them coming and doing this because it's not it's not easy, but man, they're killing it. They're fucking slaying it, and I'm I'm super happy for them. Um uh, overall. This is one of my this is one of my favorite tracks of the year actually. I've really really enjoyed it. I would give this 4.25 or 4.5 nicks out of 5. Solid package all around. Honestly, I almost wouldn't expect any less from this band cuz they're killing it. And um, they exceeded my expectations 
in all realms of the heaviness of the melodies and the catchiness they they really exceeded it so um really good job guys and um fuck yeah but yeah i'm gonna leave a link to this song down below in the description go show these guys the love you know if you watch this thank you please go to the original video leave a like leave a comment on their video you know show that love because they honestly really fucking deserve it and clap clap we came as romans you guys are fucking killing it and i'm super stoked to hear more from the album all right thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you next time